What's going on everybody? This is Patrick from Porter's Unboxings as you know. And guys, I just thought of a great idea for a video and this will also be a tag video. Top five of what I think are the best, um, in my opinion, top five, some of the best, um, Doc, do, documentaries that I've seen in a while. So, um, number five, and this is not in in any order. Um, number five, um, Daniel Bryan, just say yes, yes, yes. Now, this is a is a beautiful documentary that I still need to get on Blu-ray, which I which I. I can't believe I don't have it already. Um, but it follows a journey of, of Daniel Bryan, or in AEW, Bryan Danielson, as he prepares for the World Heavyweight Championship match in the main event of WrestleMania 30. And it's never be seen, never before seen director's cut. WWE sits down with Daniel Bryan as he follows his every move, as he looks back on his career and his bumpy road to WrestleMania. This collection also highlights the career of the leader of the Yes Movement and all of my stuff just fell, so give me a moment. Actually, here, it, it it follows to this moment right here. Right here. Or this moment right there. But let me get all this back up. So, um, yeah, um, also highlights the career of the leader of the S movement with the most important moments and matches in Daniel Bryan's career. With all this action and more, this set will make the WWE, WWE Universe point their fingers up, raise their hands, and shout, yes, yes, yes. As the thing says, just say yes, yes, yes. And on the back here, you have him in 2014 and 2012. I think that's him with Batista, Kane, and Sheamus. So, and then you have the Occupy Raw moment. And then you have matches from his, his indie days from 2000. The Brian... Kendrick and Lance Cade versus American Dragon and, Sh and Shooter Schultz. Jamie Noble versus Brian Danielson. Bri Daniel Bryan versus Jericho versus The Miz for the U.S. title. Versus CM Punk and Money in the Bank. Two out of three falls match at Extreme Rules. My favorite pay-per-view from 2012. Um... You also have him versus John Cena at SummerSlam. Daniel Bryan versus Randy Orton. Randy Orton with Daniel Bryan and Batista from WrestleMania 30. And a, a lot more off this set. So guys, this is number five. Or in, in any order. I, I don't know. But the next one I have is ladies and gentlemen my name is paul hammond and i have this on blu-ray and dvd man this is a great one to have um this goes from his a a w a days wcw ecw the writer the new ecw and just all of these promos guys All of these promos. You have teaser stories. WCW. Um, and on disc two. You have Paul Heyman hates Mr. Command stick. Introducing the next big thing. Mr. McMahon gives Paul Heyman a performance review. Paul Heyman gives CM Punk his resignation. 
It's clobbering time. And the matches are Hardy Boys versus Brock and Paul from Judgment Day 2002. Um, that Night of Champions 2013. Um, you have CM Punk, Curtis Axel, and Paul Heyman. And then you get all of these stories, guys. All of these. Look. All of these stories. It's just a great watch. If you guys have never seen this. And the promo on the Blu-ray exclusive. Conquering of the Streak. April 7th, 2014. Who cried? Who was upset when, when Brock Lesnar... Um, conquered Undertaker's streak. And then on the back here you have him in the director's chair. You have him in the director's chair on the disc too in the director's cut thing. But yeah. So, ladies and gentlemen, my name is Paul Heyman. The next one I have on this list this has to be on everybody's list. The Undertaker, The Last Ride from 2020. Actually from um, yeah, from yeah, from 2020. This is a 5 uh this is a 5 um disc um no, this is actually a 2 disc set with 5 episodes on it. F for the first time ever, Mark Calloway, the man behind The Undertaker comes out of the darkness and sits down with the WWE Network. The WWE Network. Peacock um, or, or was this made before Peacock? I'm not sure. Um, but, um, for The Undertaker's Last Ride, in this credibly acclaimed five-part docu-series, WWE follows the phenom on his emotional journey towards the one last great match and putting the final nail in, this co in the coffin of his legendary career with um, the lead up to AJ Styles and The Undertaker at WrestleMania um, th um, 36, which is, I have right here. Um, as you can see here. But yeah, th um, this is great. Um, he talks about his loss at WrestleMania 30 all of his surgeries that he's had, um, he felt bad about the WrestleMania 33 win or, or loss um, to Roman Reigns. Um, he felt like he wasn't 100%, and that's not right. Um, they, they talk about his the terrible Crown Jewel 2018 match. Um, and then um, the WrestleMania, th um, the WrestleMania 36 match, um, the last time ever, um, tr um, Triple H and the Undertaker. They even have Goldberg and the Undertaker. I'm sorry, Oldberg. Um, but yeah, this is a incredible set. Um, if you guys don't have it, and then here's the alternate artwork. You have. The purple with the lightning. Um, and then on the back here. I would watch this again. This is the... I think this is the documentary that I would watch like... Three, like... About probably like five times a day. No, not no, not five times a day. But like, you know what I mean. I would watch this on and off again. Disc one and disc two. But I just wish this was on um, Blu-ray as well. Actually, this was on Blu-ray, but... And the Blu-ray came with the Undertaker autograph. So, but but yeah. Um, the Undertaker, The Last Ride. Gr a great DVD. If you guys don't, al don't already have this, um, go and get it. It is worth the 10, 15 bucks I paid for it. Um, and then the last two, you have CM Punk 
Um, Best in the World. This came out in 2012. Um, talks about his early days in e ECW, his breakout Money in the Bank ladder match win at WrestleMania. Um, what was it? 24 and 23, I want to say. No, 23 is Mr. Kennedy. Yeah, well, yeah, whatever. <laughs> and then, the, then there are the discs. Um, this is a great watch. Um, this came out when he was WWE champion. You have matches from M M Money in the Bank 2011. That that famous match with John Cena that people are still talking about today. Um, Jeff Hardy versus CM Punk from SummerSlam 2009. The Blu-ray exclusive, if you have the Blu-ray like I do. I also, I also have the DVD. The finals match in the IC Championship Tournament, Rey Mysterio versus Punk from Armageddon 2008. Um, his, his famous pipe bomb which is right here from June 27th, 2011. Um, guys, will CM Punk be returning to to to, to to Will CM Punk ever come back to to the to the WWE? Because people are saying in November. But you also have um CM Punk versus William Regal for the IC Championship and the no disqualification match from 2009. John Morrison, last chance match at ECW, September 4th, 2007. Um, CM Punk and Kofi Kingston versus Rhodes and Ted DiBiase from October 27th, 2008. <clears throat> Saving so sobriety um hometown situation frustration beyond belief outcast champion dude this is a great a great documentary to, to, to go back and watch if you guys do not have this see it this is not just a blu-ray it's a pipe bomb so yeah so CM Punk Best in the World, um, two disc set on Blu-ray. And then the final, I think this is the best one. But like I'm saying, not in the order that, these are not in order. I'm just saying what is the best one. And yes, guys, when you see this price, do not at me in the comments. This is one of the rarest Blu-rays that I probably have. Stone Cold Steve Austin. The bottom line of the most popular WWE superstar of all time. And a three-disc Blu-ray. What? Yes, guys, the DVD did have four discs. So, and, and it came with the insert. A Blu-ray that comes with the insert. What are, what era are we living in from like 2011? And this is a 10 hour, um, this is a 10 hour Blu-ray. So, this one's great. And I like the little um, paint, um, little insert that they give us. So it starts off with their football and wrestling career, um, rookie of the year, raising hell, Tyson and Austin, Austin era has begun, return to mania, and the Blu-ray exclusives on here. Stone Cold versus The Rock from WrestleMania 19. 
You have Undertaker versus Triple H and Stone Cold. Triple threat for the WWE title from No Mercy 99. Stone Cold versus Kurt Angle from Monday Night Raw in 2001. Ric Flair versus Sting and, and Ricky Dragon Steamboat. So a fatal four-way with stunning Steve Austin. Um, Stone Cold versus Jake the Snake Roberts, um, King of the Ring final. That's when he became Stone Cold character. Um, Austin 316 said, I just whipped your ass. Yep, that's when it came. Um, um, the no qualification for the WWE Championship from WrestleMania 17. Um, Stone Cold versus The Rock. Um, no disqualification. Do they have this on twice? Oh, wait, 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 wait. So both times there was no disqualification. I didn't know that. No disqualification for the WWE Championship Stone Cold versus The Rock from WrestleMania 15, um, 17, and as a Blu-ray exclusive, like I said, um, from, from 19 as well. And then the third discs are just promos. The third discs are just promos. And then the Blu-ray moments are a flair for the gold, the biggest draw in the world, the foundation of WWE. You want a pear or do you want an apple? Stone Cold has words with The Rock post-Raw. And then Stone Cold salute Texas from his Hall of Fame speech. So guys, um, these are the top five doc documentaries. And if I miss some, please let me know. We also have the rise and fall of uh, the rise and fall of ECW. Um, that's my favorite. It's just I just couldn't get to it in time. But that's on the list. I just can't find it at the time. So um, these are the top five that I think that are the best. We have Br Daniel Bryan. Just say yes, yes, yes. Um, ladies and gentlemen, my name is Paul Heyman, The Undertaker, The Last Ride, um, CM Punk, The Best in the World, and Stone Cold, The Most Popular Superstar of All Time. So guys, this has been Patrick from Porter's Unboxings, as you know, and yeah, it actually, as I said in the, in, in the beginning of this video, it's a tag video, I want to tag... Mark Boy 316, the DVD Freak, Dan the Beast 94, Gregory Kramer, Donnie Langston, and a bunch of other people that I can't name um, right now. So, um, guys, um, again, I want to tag Mark Boy. 316, the Gregory Kramer, the, the DVD freak, Donnie Langston, and um, a bunch of other people. Um, but guys, these are my top five that I think are the best. And also, I mentioned the rise and fall of ECW that I cannot find at the moment. So guys, so guys these are the top five that I think are best. And I hope that... The, that the people I tagged also make this video. So, guys, this has been Patrick from Porter's Unboxings, as you know, and I'm out. Peace!